ridiculous returns, right? These returns might happen, but most of the time I would cut that in half or even a third, okay? Because, uh, come on, 24%, 30%? Yeah, maybe, but uh, probably not. Hey, welcome to the Guaranteed Retirement Guys show. So today we're gonna to be talking about how much money should you actually put into an annuity? But before that happens, I'm taking off my jacket. I literally just got out of this appointment with this client and believe it or not, every once in a while, I will wear a jacket. Sometimes I'll even wear a tie, um, but not very often. I try to keep my tie off as much as possible. In fact, while I'm at that, I might as well just do that. Okay. Oh, that's hot. All right. I feel that's comfortable. Hot. Okay. So let's look at why, why would I want to put more money in an annuity or why would I want to put less money in an annuity? I get asked this question all the time. Um, how much can I fund this annuity with? Or I don't, I love playing in the market. I don't want to put all of my money into it. I would rather have some of my money available for playing in the market. I want to buy stocks. I want to sell stocks. Maybe I want to short them. Uh, maybe I want to trade commodities, uh, which is great. I mean, if, if that's what you want to do, great. Uh, really, when I share annuity um, uh, presentations, when I go over these and I look at uh, your income, and I look at, you know, what are you trying to solve? Like, for instance, this client that I just met with, they are they're in a spot where they're withdrawing $60,000 a, a year from their TSP account. So, and if they keep doing that, which he says they're gonna stop in around 10 years, but I, I had the argument of, well, maybe you will, maybe you won't, because if you don't stop, then your money will run out. If you do stop, your income goes way, way down. And are you gonna be able to afford to do that in 10 years from now when inflation is, is going even more? And maybe you have health problems, maybe you have to replace a knee. I mean, things happen. And when you have life happen to you, the, the last thing you want is less income, okay? So he can either decide to take it for 10 years and not let it run out and let his income go way down or take it for 20 years and then have it run out in 20 years. And if he passes away, then his wife not, not only loses that income, but she also loses uh, social security, well, at least half. She loses hers and she gets his. So not a great situation to be in. So that's why I look at these and you should too. So let me, I'm gonna just share my screen here. Okay, so they are 62, yeah, 62 years old. His wife is a little bit younger. I can't remember how old she is. Uh, actually, she's she's older, she's, she's one year older. So she's 63 years old. Um, he's 62, she's 63, and they've got money sitting in a TSP account, a couple, you know, a Roth, traditional IRA, a brokerage account, they got money. Um, but they're taking out 60 grand a year out of their accounts, which are gonna make their accounts run dry before they die. Uh, and, and they'll be pretty young by the time that happens, which will not be a good situation, which is why I wanted to look at uh, a way to fix it. So I'm gonna share my screen and I wanted to show you what their income looks like if they if they do the annuity that I'm recommending. So I'm recommending that they fund an annuity for a million bucks. They got they got 1.4 million dollars. I'm telling them to put a million dollars into it, and by so doing, they will never run out of money. They'll have instead of having 60,000 a year for 20 years, they got 60,000 a year forever, and it never runs out. If he dies or passes away, she continues to get the income no matter what. So. You'll see um, Social Security, both Social Security are coming in. Um, and you can see the pension from both of them coming in. And then you can see also the annuity. So total annual income, $182,000, not bad. And you'll notice that rise over time until, until the husband passes away. So I just had him kick the bucket at 86. <laughs> He's dead, isn't he? Not saying he will, but if he does, then she loses her social security and she gets his. That's why that's reflected right here, um, where she where she gets his social security around you know forty two thousand six thirty six. 
plus his pension gets cut in half. So I subtracted half of that. Now she's getting 36,000. Um, and then of course she's getting her pension and uh, she's getting the annuity. So if she didn't do the annuity by this time, their account uh, would be completely dry. So instead of having 170,000, they'd have more like 110,000 in income. So the annuity solved that. It basically made it so that the income would never run out. So when she is 88, and maybe she needs long-term care, um, she has more income to do it with versus much less. And she's not stuck with an empty account. She has a guaranteed income coming in from this annuity uh, that uh, they set up years before um, just to cover a situation like this. All right, so this is why I recommended this. But as we talked, uh, he mentioned to me, you know what, John? I really like playing in the stock market. I love, I love uh, buying stocks, selling them. I like watching the market as it goes up. Uh, and of course, when the when the uh, when the uh, market's down, I don't think he was that excited during that time because I asked him, "Do you short the stocks when it's going down?" He says, "No, I do not sell short." So that's the problem. Is during, while while the market goes down, he's watching his account go down. That's not very fun, but he loves being in the market. So, and he says, "You know what? We're not going to really need that sixty thousand a year from this account after 10 years. We just kind of want to play with it for right now. We want to fix up our house, do some remodeling, maybe do some traveling. You know, after 10 years, we'll, we'll stop taking out and, and we'll let that account kind of build up some more. So I said, okay, well, yeah, you could do that. But if, if something happens where, you know, you need a knee replacement or, or, you know, maybe you're actually still healthy and you still want to travel and you have just other needs financially, if you stop taking money out of that, that's gonna cramp your lifestyle. So he didn't like that, but he still didn't like the idea of putting a million bucks into an annuity, which I get, right? I mean, you're used to your money sitting in your accounts, either your IRA, your 401k, whatever it is, you're used to being in the market, you're used to the growth mindset of your 30s and 40s, and it's hard to change that mindset in your 60s and 70s into preservation and income. But that's the whole reason why we build up these accounts. We want the income, right? We want to never run out. We want to make sure we are secure. It is for our financial future. And so why not look at a fixed index annuity that gives you that freedom, that guarantee uh, of never running out, okay? That's why you do it. And that's why we were looking at a million dollars going into this account. Because if you put a million bucks in this account uh, and they, they take it out for 30 years, then what are they taking out? $1.8 million instead of a million. Okay, so much better situation. And they don't have to worry about the account going down due to market fluctuations. They don't have to worry about any of that. And if he dies early, he doesn't have to worry about his wife taking care of the account. He doesn't have to worry about her having to buy and sell and because she doesn't like doing that. She wants the guarantees. And so that's why we were looking at a million dollars. But here's what we did. So I said, all right, well, if you don't want to do a million, why don't you just look at maybe a smaller portion for her later on? Because later on, her salary is going to be greatly reduced because when you die, she loses her social security and she gets yours. So she loses roughly what, 29,633 and then takes over his social security of 41,800. And then of course you, you can see that going up with inflation. Um, sorry, with cost of living increases that Social Security gives you. So you can see that. Um, and then you've got, let's see, you've got the pension. Pension's cut in half. She still has her pension, but that's cut in half. And so let's say at 86, when he dies, she needs more income. So maybe they don't want to touch the million bucks. So I said, well, great. Why don't you take 300,000 out of your 1.4 million portfolio and just protect that? Okay, instead of protecting 100, you know, instead of protecting 1 million, Let's just protect 300,000. Then you could play in the market as much as you want and you're still insuring some of your future. All right, so we'll put it at deferring joint income for zero years and they're gonna take income immediately. We're gonna put a million bucks in there, okay? So a million bucks and you'll notice that there are a few annuities up here. They're roughly 60, $61,000. The one I recommended was with North American. The reason being, because North American, I like the indexes there. I personally think they got better growth, at least right now they do. 
and have better chance of their money not running out uh, if they were to pass away and they want to leave it to beneficiaries. Uh, that, that was a concern. Not to mention the fees were only 1.2 instead of 1.35 and then going up to two and a half after 10 years, right? No one wants that. Uh, the top one here is AIG and that wasn't bad, but I wanted also to have an income doubler for long-term care for them as well because if they need it, it doubles the income. So who wouldn't want that? So that's what we're looking at and that's why I recommend North American for 59875 All right, so now that we got that out of the way, we know that right now he does not want to put a million dollars in. He wants to keep withdrawing 60000 a year from his account. So let's look at the, the plan B scenario, okay? He, now he says, all right, let's play with 300000 So if we put $300,000 in there and we're like, we don't want to take income now. In fact, we may never need to take income, but let's say in 24 years, so that's what we were talking about. It's the future. So 24 years, he's 86, he dies. She's 87. And let's say he's depleted their account. Let's just say he has. Let's say he's he decided to take 60,000 out longer than 10 years, right? And which he probably will. And let's say he, we also had a couple of other market downturns. So now all of a sudden things did not turn out the way he wanted. So he basically ran out of the million dollars. And remember I, I said that they started with started out with 1.4. So they took 300,000, they put it in an annuity and they protected it, okay? With this scenario, you can see with just uh, nationwide, um, at 24 years, it's gonna pay him, or it's gonna pay her 72,447 a year. So if he dies, you know, he, she's losing her, her social security around what, 29,600? So she's losing that. Plus, she's also losing roughly uh, well, she's losing half of his pension, which at that point is around 36000 So if you put those together, she is losing around $65,000 in income when he passes away. Now, the only thing she has to do now at this point is let's say he dies. She calls the insurance company up and says, hey, I want to activate my income. So that's going to cover both of those, uh, those shortfalls, which is awesome. So if we look at that, we'll see... $300,000, you can see that premium dropped in right now. And you can see that account value. And this is showing worst case scenario, account value going down because you know there's no growth, the stock market shuts down. Insurance companies have to show you this. It doesn't mean it's gonna happen. It never has happened, but they still have to show it to you. But if you look at the actual income base, that's growing every year. And that's what matters, okay? And then by the time she turns on the income at age 87, it's $72,000 because the income base account, which has been growing every single year guaranteed, is $1 million. And, and that's multiplied by 7.1%. And that's what gives her that income for the rest of her life, which is going to cover that shortfall completely. And so if you look at that, um, now I, I'll go down here and you can see account values, what it would look like if it has all these ridiculous returns, right? These returns might happen, but most of the time I would cut that in half or even a third, okay? Because, uh, come on, 24%, 30%? Yeah, maybe, but uh, probably not. And so, and then they're showing, hey, if this grows uh, to these huge numbers, then we're gonna give you 177,000. So yeah, she does have that opportunity if it does grow astronomically huge, which fixed index annuities do not grow like that. They typically range five or 6%, okay? I'll just disclaimer there. Um, but they're showing that because based off of high participation rates in the index and the market roaring and going great, um, you're gonna make this. Well, that's not the case, folks. Typically, it's a lot less, but here's what's important. Here is what is really important. So if we look at guarantees, it's a million bucks. That is guaranteed for the income account value, okay? Because it's got a roll-up rate and that, that is multiplying it every single year. And then they're gonna multiply that by 7.1 and that's what gives her income. So minimum, minimum, if this earns absolutely nothing, she's gonna get $72,000 a year for the rest of her life. And if she lives another 10 years, she just took out $720,000 of income from a $300,000 investment, not bad. Okay, well, let's look at this just a little bit more, okay? Let's just say, let's say that they do have, I don't know, just regular growth. Let's let's take off the 
the average of that one. And let's put it in to just the S&P 500 that's capped at 9%. Okay, let's just do that. Kind of return to earth here scenario so we can actually see real numbers, okay? Real growth, what it actually could look like versus what it, what it uh, you know, what they're showing, which is ridiculously high numbers. Now this, this is still kind of high. It's showing 9%. Again, it's showing 9% because the last 10 years have been great, right? And it's showing 0% on the years where it went down. So you don't participate in market losses. So looking at that, they're saying, okay, well, it'll grow to roughly a million bucks in real market value. So 955,000. If you want to actually take the money out, you could. Um, but you can see the income is still based off of the million dollars uh, times 7.1. Now, of course, if it does just a little bit better than that, you know, let's say, let's say there's 50%. You put 50% into this S&P fund, and let's say you put. Uh, 50% here, and you'll notice that both of these, this has a 9% cap, but the other one has 175% par rate, which means that the index does 10%, you're gonna get 17.5%. They reset those every year, okay? So just keep that in mind, because if it resets lower, then it changes all of these numbers, okay? So typically when I talk to clients, I like to put them in something that is known to have high participation rates, but also into a company that is known to keep their par rates higher and not just give you a teaser rate and then drop it in half. Okay, I'd rather you not experience that. So looking at that, then you're looking, if you have a little bit more growth, then they're saying, okay, if you have more growth, then we're going to give you a higher, um, a higher guaranteed amount. So $98,000 a year. So. That's what I do like about Nationwide is they give you the opportunity to get more guaranteed income. If for some reason things are terrible and you're nothing, then the worst case scenario, she gets $72,000 a year for the rest of her life just from a little $300,000 investment. So, all right, let's just kind of bring this back to where we started. We started with a client that had a million dollars to invest into an annuity that would give them $60,000 a year for the rest of their life and they just never have to worry about it. It always covers their income shortfall forever, okay? It's nice, it's mailbox money. But given this client's circumstances, given their, their uh, just their way of life, their way of investing, he loves having control over his money, which is fine. So instead of doing a million bucks, he wants to look at 300,000. Great. So $300,000 is still plenty because they don't need the income from the $300,000 right now. They're going to put it into an account, you know, transfer from, from the TSP to an IRA. It's sitting in the IRA. It's growing. It's got the roll-up rate that's growing for income purposes. And now when she's ready to turn on the switch, which in this example at age 87, she can turn on $72,000 a year, which means that shortfall from Social Security the pension being cut is now eliminated. In fact, if you look further, you'll see here, this column here, it says available lifetime withdrawal. That means if she were to take income at any year from now until then, this is exactly what she would lock in. If she waited 10 years, she would lock in $39,600. Not bad. If she were to, if she were to wait, um, I don't know, 16 years, she could turn on $55,000 of guaranteed income. So let's say he dies at, uh, at 77. She could turn on income then, okay? Let's say she turns on income at 82. Maybe he dies in his early 80s. It's 66,000, which if you remember, $66,000 is exactly what the shortfall will be. If he dies at 86, um, that shortfall will be $65,000. So this covers that completely. Perfectly balanced. This whole thing should be. If you're looking to invest into an annuity to either protect your money, protect it from market, market loss or market risk, then annuities are great. They'll give you growth and they'll give you market protection. If you're looking for an annuity that will give you income, there are annuities for that and they work very, very well. Some annuities work great uh, for longer periods of time where they sit and grow. Other annuities work better if you take them immediately or within five to 10 years. I look at all companies. I'm not biased. I care less what company you want. I don't care if you want an annuity with a fee or without a fee, okay? None of that matters. To me, what matters is that you get 
what's going to fit your needs, uh, not only for now, but in the future. Okay, that's what's important. And, and everyone's different. Everyone has a different, different situation. Maybe married, maybe not married. There are different annuities for different situations that work better. And so that's why I like to do these videos because I like to show you what's there, what's available, okay? So reach out to me, book a call with me. I'd love to chat with you, see what you're looking for, see how I can help. I'm not gonna try to sell you anything. I just wanna show you what's available, how it can help you. And then you at least will have that information at your fingertips and you decide what you wanna do, okay? It's that easy. All right, until next time, I will see you next time at the same time.